Good morning. Welcome to the Wex Wake Up for Monday, February 26th. I'm Christy Matino. Former President Donald Trump has officially run away with all the early voting states. AP called the South Carolina Republican primary race exactly as polls closed at 7 p.m. on Saturday. And as Trump campaigned in the Palmetto State, right by his side was South Carolina Senator Tim Scott, who's a rumored VP pick. Washington Examiner's Mabinti Kwarshi spoke to voters all across the state about a possible Trump Scott ticket. Here's what they had to say. We're here in Rock Hill, South Carolina, where Donald Trump is scheduled to appear with Senator Tim Scott. We spoke to several voters about what they think of Scott becoming Trump's vice presidential pick. How would you feel about that? I like Tim Scott very much. I would love that. I love Tim Scott, huge fan. I actually really wanted him to um, run if Trump wasn't running. So I think he'd be great. I think Nikki Haley would be great. I, there's so many people who'd be great. He's decent. <laughs> when he said, I love you, man, or whatever that was. I just love you. No, that's not. He lost me entirely. Uh, I think the man sold his soul. And I don't like Tim Scott because I think he has just given in to Donald Trump and just forgotten where he's come from. Voters in Tim Scott's home state remain mixed over a Trump-Scott presidency. We'll find out who Trump picks as the campaign continues. Here from Columbia, South Carolina, I'm Mabinti Korshi with the Washington Examiner. And California Governor Gavin Newsom wants to see a debate between President Joe Biden and his opponent in the 2024 election, former President Donald Trump. Trump says he's ready to debate. Biden right now should President Biden debate? Of course he's. Trump. Not, I mean, he. Uh, but should President Biden debate Biden Trump in the general? Biden beat Trump in the pr prior debates. I look forward. I mean, this is a guy. Okay. By so the that's way, that's yes? just pure, hundred percent. Okay. Pure projection on a guy who refused to debate in his own primary. Back to my point: weakness masquerading as strength. Trump has not debated any of his Republican opponents in the primary. He qualified for the RNC's rules requiring certain polling figures to make the stage, but would not agree to sign a pledge to support the eventual Republican nominee should he lose the primary. And Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer says the decision by some Republicans to support in vitro fertilization doesn't undermine the Democratic Party's message to protect IVF. For some context, the Alabama Supreme Court recently issued a decision that declared cryogenically frozen embryos are extrauterine children, a decision that could potentially make access to IVF more difficult. In the wake of the court decision, former President Donald Trump and former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley have come out in defense of IVF. But Whitmer says Republicans taking the stance doesn't affect Democrats' messaging on issues like abortion. Does that undercut the arguments by Democrats that Republicans are going after in vitro fertilization? Hell no, it does not. I mean, we've always known that with the appointments that Donald Trump made to the United States Supreme Court, that IVF, that a woman's ability to make her own decisions about her body, and all the panoply of things that come from that were in jeopardy. Thanks for joining us this morning on The Wex Wake Up. Be sure to give us a follow on our website and social media. So you stay in the know of all those headlines trending in politics.